Hundreds line the streets. Law enforcement members line the streets as well as a UMC, or for, of UMC rather, as Trooper Micah May's body was escorted to the coroner's office today. Thank you for joining us tonight at 6 o'clock. I'm Sasha Loftus. An HP Trooper May lost his life this week. He had been fighting to survive at UMC after he was hit by a car during a chase on the I-15. Victoria Saha joins us live tonight with more. Victoria. Sasha, the procession ended here at the coroner's office from UMC. Hundreds of community members and law enforcement lined the streets of UMC to salute Trooper Micah May as his body was brought here at the coroner's office, and that's where he'll be spending the night here. Earlier today at UMC were several members of the Nevada Highway Patrol and other law enforcement agencies gathered there as they prepared to escort Trooper May's body. His squad car was also parked in front of the hospital. It's been four days since Trooper May was struck by an alleged carjacker as he was laying down spike strips, leaving him in critical condition. Trooper May died on Thursday. The Nevada Highway Patrol says they have not left his side since this incident happened, and they're all grieving the loss of their brother together. Knowing Michael or Micah May, having worked with him several years, this is painful. Uh, I'm glad that I've had the people around me supporting me that I've had. It's, it's allowed me to come out here and be able to sh share with the community. Trooper May is a father of two, and the Injured Police Officers Fund has set up an account to help Trooper May's family, which Trooper Smacka says is part of the NHP family now. On Tuesday evening, there will be a candlelight vigil to honor Trooper May at the Police Memorial Fund, Memorial Park, excuse me, and we're told that everyone is invited. Reporting live, Victoria Saha, 8 News Now.